What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we have attacked uh, the Spanish capital and we have taken it for ourselves. So what we're going to do now is just fight a fairly simple battle uh, against this fairly elite small enemy contingent. And we've got a couple of new units which would be interesting to see on the battlefield ourselves. We've got the Chevrolet Leger and we've also got the Jaeger. So let's take them out. I'm hoping this attack on Spain can be concluded fairly quickly and it also might mean that we could fairly easily expand our attacks in the Americas onto the Empire of New Spain, get us some major cities and allow us to expand our uh, troop recruitment in the, on the continent with proper armies rather than having um, a ragtag mix. Ooh, so... Heavy Horse Guard Artillery. You're going to form a mighty front rank because, yes, Jaegers, which look pretty awesome. I think they fit the Bavarian aesthetic. They can deploy stakes, so we will be deploying our own stakes. So just deploy a good chunk of troops on that flank. A handful probably just here. Up, up against this impassable feature then we've got a few units that can just stay back actually you'll guard the guns then all my cavalry is going to go on the right flank so first of all Chevrolet Leger and actually keep my ranged cavalry together and this is what my dragoons look like my Chevrolet Leger look like and they look pretty good pretty good green jacketed dragoons I think on my general up front, well, to, up front to a degree. So my heavy horse artillery focus on the conquistador if possible, because they're the most, they're the more dangerous cavalry. What's this guy doing? He does not care. And his gun is not going to fire because of it. I've got one unit cavalry and it's trying to push around the flank. Which make sure my Jaeger... There you go, I hear a cavalry charge. So who is it? It's not the Conquistador. It's not the Grenadier Guards. It's the Lancer Guards. So my gunners... You all just form square. Oh my Jaeger have opened up, we don't want to do that. What I do want to do is curve my infantry line along and push my cavalry around the rear. Because these Lancer Guards we be backed up by the heavy horse grenade. Oh, this could be it might be a bit dangerous. Heavy horse artillery canister shot. The horse grenade guards and the conquistador as well. Ooh. Big friendly fire there when this gun I just absolutely annihilated a full rank of infantry. Okay, let's go for the gunners. Go for the infantry, rather. Let's rely on my squares with my marines and the 58th Regiment of Infantry holding the line. Good, because I'm not... I'd like to kill their cavalry, sure, but... You guys are running. Range cavalry up there ready to shoot, get my other cavalry ready to move. I mean, all of these guns pounding the fifth foot guards, they're not going to last very long. No, sir. But yeah, I'm not expecting to catch the cavalry. I want to get the. Actually, I might round shot this unit of Conquistador now. Because these chaps will fall just to 
volley fire. Oh, good shot against the Grenadier Guards here. My range units both attack the Conquistador. Drive my cavalry in, so might be able to hit the horse Grenadier Guards. Everyone's pouring volleys into the Spanish Conquistador. But I'm going to commit my ranged cavalry into the melee. Cease fire the guns. Because that's done some damage to myself. Maybe we might have got the horse Grenadier Guards. But I'm going to keep going because we're attacking this unit Conquistador. And we could do a lot of damage here. You men cease fire. Should get my hussars to attack the conquistador as well because they can cut them off. One thing I definitely want to do is make sure you guys are both fireable off. But you men gang up on the conquistador. Actually, no, you're going to. Well, you might, maybe, you might not escape. If I turn fireable on here, who do you shoot at? You didn't gun down that cavalryman. Just get them all to attack the fifth foot guards. And let's speed up time. Because we might not be able to kill the cavalry. We've got them down to one. But we will definitely get their infantry. Which is as good a win as any. We may as well chase them, even though they are going to get off the battlefield. One last conquistador left. But that is the end of that small force, so they're probably going to flee west. Yes, they have. So we've got Bilbao, Mr. Lightner, replenish what you can, keep driving west. We don't need Bilbao to be a port because we've got Brest and we've got Portsmouth, so that's probably plenty of naval production. Plus any other ports that slip through, such as over here. But apart from that, we have no cash, we need to rebuild Bastia. This army is to replenish and reinforce, and we've also got things to do in the Americas because we've got this invasion here, but we'll fight that. We'll siege it and then we'll see what happens. Okay, let's hit end turn. And I am curious as to whether the Ottomans are going to be up to shenanigans again. Actually, where's a pen? I'm going to jot down how long the episode is when I decide to cut it. <laughs> There's a Spanish fleet in the Baltic. I uh, don't really want to fight it yet. But they're not, if they're not actually raiding me, then they're not doing any harm. So I'm gonna, I'm happy to leave them to it. My general, mm, my general stance on naval warfare in Napoleon is you, in, in empire rather, is you can kind of get around it. If you garrison your ports, the only fleets you have to really watch out for are, uh, are, are fleets bringing armies to your shore. And naval, naval warfare in Empire on hard mode is a bit weird because we've seen two full rate, full strength fifth rates lose to a weakened fifth rate, and that's just frustrating. So I need, so I don't really want to fight naval battles unless I've got a massive overmatch, and I can have fight a decisive victory. Um, especially because naval naval forces are quite expensive, and it looks like the Ottomans are going to cause this recording to ch to chug. So see you in a second, everyone. And we are back, and we can see that our Russian enemy, well, they are not our enemy for now, um, but with, he certainly will be, and you can see they are massing near Vilnius, so our eastern flank, which is currently experiencing a unprecedented uh, period of peace and stability, will soon come under threat. I'm not bothered about fighting the pirates, because they've only got one region left. And that region will fall. I mean, I got my... my fleet there in the Caribbean, but I'm happy to leave them alone. You guys keep pushing west. Hello. You're trying to kill my general. Okay, so. So, so, so. Let's repair Bastia. Let's upgrade the wineries. Let's upgrade the roads and replenish this army. Good. Lots of good stuff in Italy we can upgrade. 
Wealthy Iron Workshops is a good get. Let's re rebuild Verona. And I want to build the Army Stuff College, because then that will give us access to the last merge technology. Machine Rifling, that will get, so get us a bunch of interesting, cool skirmishers and guard units, actually. Grenadier Guard. Cool. Those will be pretty neat. Um, two universities on military, on um, political techs, I don't think so. Coburg, get on with... I mean, steam engine will just be a huge uplift in my economy. It will be a huge demand as well <laughs> um, on my spending. So I might actually go for... I might go for this to reduce the cost of constructing plantations because if I'm, if I'm expanding in the Americas, then I'm going to be starting to build more plantations. And what I want to do is... So I've got... So yeah, this fleet here is not really doing anything. There's a bunch of good fourth rates. I mean, you guys could definitely win with this fleet, but I'm rubbish. I want to keep this fleet. I should keep building. Let's probably churn at add another, another third rate and another second and a second rate onto that construction queue. Whereas here, okay, so I've got militia here. I can send this sloop somewhere else, probably to Bilbao. So let's recruit some fleets because I want to build I want to build some ships that can go fleets that can go to the trader zones so Gideon Bachman congratulations you will be the admiral on a fleet heading towards one of the trade zones not gonna worry about that yet so they've raided the mines you can't yet get to them Spain's looking pretty happy a depleted Spanish army here with a lot of irregular troops. So you, Mr. Farber, now you're fully replenished. You can go here and watch where they go. Because if I move in, they may push around here and attack uh, Cartagena, which I don't want. I want these guys to move up and be in a position to threaten Lisbon before I pull men out of Portugal. But then again, I could feasibly start recruiting troops for a bit of a garrison so let's recruit five units of line 1500 let's upgrade build bow to a trading port and then let's hop over to the americas and let's take mr frankfurter and let's attack martinique i can't repair anything because i have no money but that's okay uh, we're in we're in an expansion phase. We're not in a boom phase. I'm not overly worried about expanding as quickly as possible in the Americas because our next region is going to be our next attack is going to be to, to knock out the pirates and then probably move on. Well, realistically, if we can knock out Spain, all of the Spanish possessions in the Caribbean that remain that actually belong to the Spanish Empire itself will cease to exist. They will become pirate territories. So mostly militia so let's keep my militia in the open field where they can support each other a bit better with my native troops behind them the guns might be a shade too close let's put a solid contingent of infantry on both of my flanks good combine my auxiliary my mounted auxiliary. General in the centre. Good, let's see where they... Huh. Okay. Redeploy my line rapidly. Have they got... Yes, they do have mortars. There they are. Tribal auxiliary thunder run right up to the middle. Push up. Native warriors push up. Native warriors push up. I am going to move my bowmen just in due course. New men push up in the open ground. This infantry push up towards the town and then the last unit of mounted tribal auxiliary actually redeploy over onto the right flank with the general and let's make the guns attack 
some units to the rear because we are going to be churning out our fire. Our Freikorps line looks beautiful. It really looks quite Prussian. So, mostly levy a couple of units of African musketeers, which look pretty neat, but they're not super effective. There we go. More firepower's on the way. Where's my native bowman auxiliary? Okay, so we've got troops on the right flank. Left flank, sorry. This infantry may deploy... to defend that flank. Good, you men open fire. Reload. Fire. See my land there, militia. We're gonna have to attack without any real backup. See, my warriors are mostly worried about the flanks. Tribal auxiliary. Get out of dodge. Keep my infantry pushing up. Mounted tribal auxiliary. Chase down that African musketeer unit to try and make, stop them from routing. So I've got a good amount of militia. So you men push up to here. You men push up with the bowmen, protecting them, adding an extra level of firepower. My guns. Let's support the left flank with them instead. There you go, just try to shatter them, African musketeers. Yeah, my warriors are just standing here ready in case they make a charge. Yeah, they're firing like militia units. They look pretty neat, but they're not super effective. Getting some good volleys against this levy, though. So, so is the 32nd Regiment on the flank. Engage them in melee combat. You can keep firing fairly safely from the flank. So let's push my militia up so I can also push my bowmen up. Ooh. They're going mad for my cavalry. Deploy a new flank with some melee backup. Push up my militia line. I don't really mind if they want to get into a musket fight with us. Gunners attack that unit of bowmen. You men may fall back. Okay, my bowmen are now within range. Although they're not all firing, but hopefully they will now. Although there's only a handful of them. Go on, tribal auxiliary. Don't get caught by the levy. I don't care if they want to charge you. Run! Okay, this is how the route begins. Keep my... get my militia engaged. Artilleries are bombarding. That unit of bowmen. Native warriors hit that unit of bowmen. Drive home 
the attack on the left flank. This militia unit pursue the levy. You men pursue around the flank. Get my main cavalry over to support the right flank. Maybe push a unit of militia out to help support there. New men charge the bowmen in the rear. Fight. You want to fight the levy? You can. F you want to fight my cavalry? You can fight my cavalry. New men are facing down my marines with their cutlasses. Pursue them, drive them from the battlefield. The unpopular are sucking up quite a lot of resources. You men just form ranks and begin to engage the enemy general. Same with this unit of militia. You men charge this unit of bowmen. Native troops are involved. Another infantry unit is charging in on the flank. Huzzah! Good stuff. There we go, it's now becoming Musket time. I mean, you men just advance, just form ranks and fire against the head of that enemy column. You'll be fine. If I push you guys up, you'll also do it. There we go, now their general is starting to take casualties. If he does not fall, he will become a prisoner. In spirit. Spirit! Bravado! A touch of a daring do! Okay. There we go. Now we got them on the ropes. The 27th, they're going to fix them. The 32nd, they're going to advance around this farm building. And then the 10th Regiment of Militia. They're going to hit them in the rear. And they will not like it. Enemy General's routing. Everyone else is broken. Ah, yeah. They're trying to relocate, but it's not going to work. Cease fire the guns. Hey, that militia took much more of a hammering than I thought they would. The unit of marines, rather. This African militia, African musketeer unit, however, is being obliterated. We're not going to carry on the battle, though, because victory is ours. So that is another territory taken from the Mughal Empire. So we're going to destroy this building here. We're going to then sail on attack Antigua, which is the last... Oh, it's not the last pirate holdout. We'll move from Antigua to Punda. And then, to be honest, that's the Caribbean secured. I mean, I would like to take Caracas, because that would be an incredibly valuable town to have to generate forces to attack the rest of the continent. Um, but it looks like I'm probably going to end the turn and see what happens. So once again, pen at the ready for the Ottomans. <laughs> that's my reinforcements to that army in Spain that's currently not up to strength. And this is more reinforcements being pushed out to the rest of my forces on the front line. Spain is now going to try and steal my technology because we've captured probably not their own university... Ooh, I was hoping they'd go to Gibraltar. Um, but no, they, they will have a university in Lisbon. Um, because they will... Well, Portugal starts with a university there anyway. 
So I'm going to go steal my tech, which is fair enough. I've got lots of good tech. And right on cue, here come the Ottomans. So see you in a second, everyone. And we're back. I was browsing on my phone. It caught me out. <laughs> but yeah, the first thing we're going to want to do is hop over to the Americas and upgrade our, or repair our buildings. At some point we will be wanting to take that territory back from the Ottomans. We're not going to want to let them get away with everything that they, we had to give them in order to achieve our own security. We have quicklime, 36 grand as well. Um, you can uh, maybe you want to go on with copper bottoms because that's quite a nice gain. I mean, it increases the cost of my ships, but it also increases my range and increases my top speed. And again, they're not doing anything. So Spaniards can be left alone. Let's try assassinate that guy. So Kingston is blockaded. That's not a problem. Spain is here. You're at peace with them, but I'm very much tempted to say cancel military access. I do not wish you to pass through our land. Please and thank you. Oh, so many hammers, so much stuff to build. Um, right, first thing I said I would do. Americas. So let's just send an infantry unit just to kick that Jebek out of the port. Oh, you can't make it all the way back. To be honest, can you guys just leave the Windward Islands? You can, pretty happily. Okay, let's repair the government building. You men combine. You chaps replenish. Let's upgrade the plantation. Let's make sure the roads are not rubbish. Uh, let's give this you, let's give this fleet an admiral, Albert Teichmann. Oh, you can't repair there, so instead you're going to make for Demerara. For whatever reason, I can't attack that pirate fleet. So you chaps repair. Okay. I mean, I always like to get islands quickly. You're not limited with what you what you're expecting. Sporting. So let's just get some more spices. Let's get some more sugar. Let's hop back to Europe. Probably want to upgrade a great arsenal to a gunnery school. Because then that will... Actually, actually, it's probably somewhere more efficient. Actually, I've already got an engineer school. So it's not a technology problem. But it's probably going to be... A... Keep my armies up together with advanced technology problem. I'm still not interested in preparing any of that because that's they're not going to last. Let's even this up somewhat. I want to have some of my well Berlin and Prague to keep a certain amount of infantry on hand. Let's pop a couple of economic upgrades because we know we're starting to really drive up our well, our, our, our military spending is really going to be driven up. Don't need to upgrade any of that. Wherever there are any lower level ports, just get them upgraded. Okay, got five grand. Probably want to... I'll make sure you guys are up together. And Franz Lauter, can you guys leave Spain? You can. Then let's recruit some... One unit of Grenadiers and a unit of Grenadier Guards to help protect Madrid. Then you guys can... Well, first of all, you guys push down... Oh, well, actually, here is not bad. I want them to kind of come down this way. What I can do is this. Can you guys push on the tack? Mr. Aguerto, it looks like you can't. Let's make sure you guys are actually replenishing. We can repair the mines. I'm not interested in upgrading. Do anything with Salamanca yet, because I'll just break it. 
Let's get my guns down there. That's the last unit I need, I need to get this unit armored to full strength. Let's pick up a sloop here in Cartagena. Madrid's really not making much money. I mean, the mines already help, but in general, it's actually... Oh, because everything's burnt down. I see. Okay, 900 left. Let's recruit. You expect anything? You've got one more unit en route, but we've got lots of units. Okay, yeah, you're en route. Heavy horse artillery is en route. All my military upgrade on the front line is still to be done. Okay, let's upgrade this farm. Yeah, that's a good construction done there. Are oh, my agents still spying in Reykjavik? You guys. Oh, you've already tried to do some killing, haven't you? Yes, you have. Cool. But yeah, keep building up our strength, because soon eventually when Russia... Uh, do, I want, do I want to intercept with one brig? No, I don't. They're going to raid Sweden. Fine, raid Sweden. Because it does that also provides indirect benefit to me, because it means that Sweden can't push that army across the front and attack me. That's annoying. But that raiding force is going well, we can't do anything but raid at least. I could probably dispatch the Madrid garrison, because it looks like the force in the south immediately started moving west. So I can send a force to quickly take Gibraltar, another force to attack Lisbon. And then not run into too many issues with securing Iberia. Then I need to advance across the Strait of Gibraltar in short order to attack Morocco and destroy Spain. But right on cue. See you in a second, everyone. Hmm. I think they might have not wanted me to uh, keep cutting their episodes. So they've decided to declare war on me. Fine, let's do it. Let's roll. Did they bring Russia into the mix? No, they did not. Very well, Ottomans. We have an army in Spain, in um, Venice rather, that can drive east. But what it does mean is that the forces in Vienna need to be expanded to be full field armies and go on the offensive. Because I'm at a point where I don't really... Oh, I've got that force in uh, Corsica. When they're refitted, they can go and assault Athens. Yeah, don't worry, pirates. Your end is near. You are naught but a frustration. Ah, oh, they ruined my port. <laughs> that's why I. That's why I'm so hot on making sure that all my ports are protected. Let's do that. I'm going to leave my ships in port down here. Port blockaded. That's fine. I'm on 23 grand. Upgrade. Okay. So, I mean, look, they've got... You've only got some troops out here. But this army here... Very well. You're going to... Actually, what I'm going to do is recruit a general from my engineer company, Eugen... Eugen Heinemann, who's actually really good. He's only 25. Confident general and soldier from birth. Awesome. You begin building an army. And the annoying thing is I'm starting to refill out my armies with as much heavy horse guard artillery. Not as much as I can get, but I want one unit of howitzers, one unit of artillery. And then say, okay, let's stick it with a regular, a regular 24 pounder of each pair. Let's add on a unit of early, a unit of late marines. Add on two fusilier companies and let's get some... Caserian horse grenadiers and a unit of cheval leger. Proper elite mixed force, but you're going to be building up from behind the lines. This force is going to be ready to do... Ready to provide public order support for the final of attack eastward. So actually, that's probably not a bad idea to do across the board, really. Friedrich Geyer. 
new men also. Go for a slightly cheaper army. You go for some 12. Let's go for 12 pounders, because they're still good. Four inch how mortars I'm not interested in. Two garrison guards. And go for two Jaeger. Good. Okay, that leaves me 6,000, which needs to almost exclusively go into economic upgrades to help offset the cost of what I've just done. Is he men just... I lost a ship there. Let's take the Jebeka. It's only the, the galley. The race-built galleon, sorry, that I lost. To upgrade Martinique, that's probably not a good thing to do with 6,000 spare. Well, I can probably pick a wealthy weaver's cottage and get a water power cloth mill. 2,000 left. Upgrade Brussels into a governor's mansion. Good. You're ready to rock and roll. Well, the question is, do I... Okay, first of all, Newman advance to the south and demand the surrender of Gibraltar. And secure the ports. We don't need two dry docks, so I'm going to get rid of this one here in Spain. I want to keep this one here at Gibraltar. Newman can advance straight for Lisbon. Ooh. Do I want to fight this army first? Probably, because it draws in the garrison to fight outside the city. Let's do it. So this is going to be a, potentially a bit risky. I mean, the smart move probably would have been to attack the city rather than fight the entire uh, army out front. But whatever, I've got quick line. I should be able to do some really good damage really quickly. But yeah, I'm, I'm acutely aware that I'm starting to gear up in the east, and I could really do with these forces in the west being redeployed. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes. So let's... Not, we're not, not, not going to be entirely defensive, but I am going to hold hold my flanks in a bit of a defensive position just in case we get caught out by the enemy. Got some fairly elite hussars here. No, no surprises. All my artillery just open fire. My battle line advance. My elite heavier infantry can advance into the town. My Rushenk cavalry advance as well. My elites on the left just have to act as a bit of a barrier for the enemy reinforcements. You guys run. Oh, so many. So many good casualties already. Let's get my infantry set up against the enemy cavalry. New men form square. New men both form square. Good hits. I'm a bit cagey about sending them into the cavalry. about directing my quick climb onto the enemy cavalry because we are aware that the quick climb can get out of hand real quick. You men deploy into square as well. Deploy
deploy engineers like so. Actually, you guys might deploy square as well, because it looks like they might be redeploying. Infantry format, raid form line. General's charging. My unit of marines, bold of them. Kill the enemy general. Now they recharged in. It's the Swiss guards. This is why I've got grenadiers back here. Grenadiers counter charge the Swiss guards. I mean, my howitzers are just doing a, an absolute number on everyone else. Deploy. You men deploy. You men charge the volume guards in the rear. You men withdraw. The enemy cavalry is starting to advance onto us. There you go. My Prishnak horse attacking the general's bodyguard. Push up my engineers. They want to engage the enemy infantry as well. Just stay ready. Where's my phone? Is my alarm going off? Time me to wake up. I am already awake. So you men charge the warring guards in the rear. Enemy dragoons are gone. The Swiss guards are holding. But now... My engineers are having a go at them. You men form line, ready to engage the militia. Enemy general's been knocked out. So potentially my army sieging Lisbon may be on the defensive in order to try and recover some... Let's make my howitzers attack ground for now. You men, fire at will. Allowed once more. Engage the hussars. Make sure they shatter. Well, I'm sure they will be gone. My body, General's bodyguard can have at them. Same with these Swiss guard, really. It would be quite nice if they were just gone for good. Actually, all my howitzers engage the line infantry. You may not also engage the foot guards because they're just about to run through your position. go. Excellent. Form line. Push neck horse. Retreat. New men advance on the enemy. Actually, you men. Are those reinforcements coming in or are they... God, don't say it's going to take forever. You may advance. These two units have done enough. Pick them out too to attack them. They will soon be out of the action. Oh, how cute. They formed up again. Get ready, cavalry. I'm fairly sure we're in for a bit of a 
a dragged out fight. You men attack. Just get my. Just push all my infantry up. Yeah, we are in for a dragged out fight. So let's speed up time a little bit because what's going to happen is the enemy is going to take forever to bring all their units down off the hill. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, I could go after that unit, but it's only a unit of militia. I'm not so bothered about keeping militia alive. Hey, all them, all their uh, skirmishes, all their regulars. I forgot about you guys. Prushnek horse actually may not be enough. Sorry to be speeding this bit up, but I'm just—I can see what's going to happen. And I'm like, right, I need to get ahead of this. Because yeah, it's going to take an awful long time for them to get their infantry units off of that hill. I did wonder about the Amazons. Let's bring my Asars over and my general over, just to make sure that the the Amazons do fall. They are irregular troops, they should fall pretty quickly. Yeah, like, look, so they've routed and they've still got to come all the way down from up top. my infantry just carry on as normal. I'm going to mop up these guys then what I'm probably going to do rather than force you guys to watch every round of combat from troops. Hey more guys. I did wonder actually. Teach me for being dumb. There we go. Just sheer mass. I guess the gorillas knocked out. All of you guys mow down this last regiment of Bandoleros. Bandolero. Awesome. Um, but yeah, rather than put you guys through waiting for every unit to enter the field, you can watch watch this unit get <laughs> shattered. They're gone. Cavalry coming down. Yeah, I'm going to chop the recording here and let you bring you guys back at the end of the battle, so just a second, everyone. And there we go. Nicely done. I was a bit worried, actually, if the time would run out before the enemy would be <laughs> defeated, if it would take them so long to bring their army into the field that they'd win because they're on the defensive. But there we go. They lost 2,786 men. We lost 514. And good. Obviously, the Prussian horse have just done real good, but obviously they've lost a number of quite a significant number of men there. So you men, replenish what you can. It's likely they'll all just run back into the city anyway, and they'll get a bit of a garrison, but that's okay. Fundamentally, actually, can... Well, no, I want you guys to... to ooh, I can't cross the strait and attack Tangier yet. But at the very least, uh, Madrid is protected from these guys being opportunistic. And I think they'll probably try and protect Lisbon First, but apart from that, let's hit end turn and get ready to see what the Ottomans do, because they're likely to start attacking our fronts soon, at the very least. Especially now, well, are they still at war with Poland? I think they are. I well, know, could be a bit of a foolish blunder, especially if I knock out Spain fairly quickly. Okay... <laughs> That's a bit weird sometimes you have to do that. It feel, it's, even though it's the end turn phase and you've clicked it, it still wants an order for certain units. <gasps> Look, they're moving. Uh, I am not going to decline. I'm not going to attack you. I'm going to let you garrison. Because they may leave the strait of... I'm not going to intercept you either. Or you. You. 
I'm going to let you keep blockading Sweden. Yes, I'm going to... Well, if they've moved their ships from the Strait of Gibraltar, I can just march my army straight across and attack Tangier. Yeah, you've raided me there. I might lose a sloop in the resulting attack, but that's okay. Or an attack by someone. But if I can take... Well, I don't think I'm to, I won't be able to take Lisbon this turn, because I'll still be replenishing. But I will be in a position to attack Tangier, and then when Lisbon falls, just not so this, all of the Spanish entities just ceased to cease to exist. Which means attacking the lines of New Spain become much easier to handle. And I'm kind of a bit reluctant to not show you guys the Ottoman in turn, because now we're at war with them. But at the same time, if they're going to be hella slow, I'm I'm still going to chop it. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys everything important happens. See you in a second, everyone. So the only real developments that matter is they've sailed an army across the Strait of, They've sailed a fleet, sorry, to the Strait of Gibraltar, so I can't cross it. But then again, it turns out there's still a Spanish navy there anyway, so I can't really do much about that. And... They are beginning to smash troops near Hungary. So I want to be just a bit cognizant of the fact that they are starting offensive operations. Whether or not they will actually follow through with it is another matter. Um, but this sloop is going to fall back to Brest. Tech, tech advance, seed planting drill has been researched. Uh, Coburg, actually you get on with... You shouldn't really have been doing that, because that's a bit overkill for you. You should probably get on with Steam Engine, realistically now. Well, the seed planting drill. No, sorry, that was for the plantation costs. Irrigation's pretty handy, but I'm not overly bothered. Although, Power Loom might be a good one to get. Well, both of these technologies are very powerful. Very powerful indeed. I think it's either or. Steam engine's technically probably the better result because it's not mines are incredibly profitable anyway, and so are the industries. But also, you get steam dry dock, which is the same tier as a as a um, naval hospital. But the only difference is you get a uh, you get a choice of recruiting steamships. I think so. You're ready. So I'm going to leave a Jebek behind just to make sure you don't get caught out. So you men shouldn't really have picked everyone. You men embark. Attack Antigua. We will fight that, but looking at the time, we're probably quite close to the end of the episode anyway. So let's just keep on with the spending. Okay, let's drop some of the higher tier government buildings in these regions to suck up some great, great tax income. We've already done a bunch of recruiting. So let's not do too much more. I mean, Hungary, you can probably stand just to slowly add more infantry to your garrison. Everyone else can stand by and wait for further orders. You can try and kill him again, because I'm, I'm, I'm past the point of caring about diplomatic niceties. This fleet's now at full strength, but I'm inclined to not do anything about this fleet, because they're blockading Swedish ports, which is indirectly useful for us. Let's upgrade the water power cloth mill. Well, to be honest, do I just go ham on economy upgrades because I know well soon we're going to be churning out a lot more infantry or well, a lot more troops well I think I've already f hit the limit on what I can actually research let's get two light galleys One to occupy the port, one to pick up this army from Bastia, because they may be needed to sail and attack Tangier if I can't attack through here. Be you men. Replenish what you can and just begin to siege Lisbon yourself. 
I mean, you men. Oh, actually, you guys, you could just attack it. That would work. Steam you guys down to the south. These guys are near enough to provide reinforcements if needed, which is pretty awesome. 500 cash. Can you push up towards these guys? I don't know if you're able to attack them yet, but I don't want to attack and draw this army in yet either. Um... Uh, we could probably do with... Well, we can't repair here at Gibraltar. But yeah, the Ottomans have a reasonable fleet. But what I'm probably going to do is take Mr. Lightner and attack Lisbon. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the capture of the Portuguese capital. There are no defences, so I think this should be fairly straightforward. See you, everyone.